So I finally decided to clean up my bedside table and my desk. And I need to desk. organize my shelf. I'll be doing that. And I'll probably go on live on my Close Enough Cosplay Instagram to show off all of my figures. Today Yay! I've got the August Bark Box. Yay! Good morning, internet friends. How are we doing today? I am doing hot. I'm standing outside and it's kind of humid, so I'm really sweaty, so that's why I look very shiny. I'm outside with the dogs right now, and actually, I don't know where they are. That's a horrible thing to say, but more likely they're all playing in the pasture. That's usually where they are. So, which means I've got some time to myself for a little bit before they come charging back, probably sopping wet from doing God knows what they're doing, but oh well. Um, I really don't have much planned today. I plan on actually getting dressed in like comfortable clothes just so I'm not wearing pajamas all day. Um, I plan on cleaning out my car because there's a bunch of stuff I've left in it and I need to clean it out. Um, probably going to fix the hammock that's inside of it that Riddler broke, meanie, and adjust the straps because I needed to tighten the straps on some of the things. And, uh, ooh, my BarkBox might be coming in today. I'm so excited. I got a notification from BarkBox. Um, you could get them through Facebook Messenger. I just learned that. Oh, and I'm also trying to get a hold of Dr. Saxena, my old psychiatrist, and see if I can do an appointment via phone call since I'm having a hard time right now. Because you guys know with the whole situation of having a hard time finding a new psychiatrist and having to do it under my mom's nose, which I know, go ahead, be like, you're an adult, you can do whatever, but it's like if you understood my mother, you would understand. <laughs> She's not supportive of my mental health at all. Like, she thinks this would just all go away and that I need to cut all this crap. Even though, you know, if I could cut all the crap, I would. But... I can't, because that's not how mental illness works. So, I figured maybe I, if I could do an over-the-phone consultation with Dr. Saxena, it would be easier, because, I mean, he already has all of my records on file, and we'll just go from there, and he understands my situation. <laughs> so, but, I mean, if all else fails... I'll probably go to the doctor and get like cleared over for the psychiatrist and we'll go from there. So, good morning. I'll check back in with you later. Hey guys! Dear Sassy Girl! Dear Riddler! And Dear Emeril. So, I haven't cleaned up my car yet, but I was still busy. Sorry, I have I know, was a piece of skin next to my nose and it was annoying. So, I finally decided to clean up my bedside table and my desk. Because as you guys know, I have that big box that has all of my dog's treats and grooming stuff and whatever in it. And it was taking up a lot of space on my desk. Which could be used for food whenever I binge watch anime or Netflix. My life. So, I want to show you guys. I don't have any before pictures. I thought about it after I finished, but... Oh well, so here is what it looks like now. This is my bedside table as of now. I moved all of my stuff over. We have the boys treat dispensers. My dog thinks I'm awesome, which secretly on the back has MRL's first baby tooth, which I thought was cute. The scent jars, I haven't trained him with those in a while. And then we have Kleenex, because why not? Empty medicine bottles for training. Tooth wipes, uh, nail clippers, brush, training treats, bark box treats, gauze pads for scent training, biscuits from Blue Buffalo, health record, and that thing. And then just like my other stuff, like my wonderful horse statue, his name is Bucephalus. And he actually was only six bucks at the thrift store. No, Salvation Army, that's where he came from. A giraffe I painted at Special Olympics camp, and I forgot what I 
what it was named because I let a camper name it and I forgot her name. Of course, deodorant, my glasses, my phone. Then on the other side, you guys can see I got a bark box. I'm about to film opening this. So, yay. Basically, I've just got stuff kind of moved around. And right here is just some stuff I need to fill out, like his paperwork for daycare and his training chart and my lovely thing that I thought would be great for drinks. And then I need to organize my shelf. I'll be doing that. And I'll probably go on live on my Close Enough Cosplay Instagram to show off all of my figures. Hooray! So... Now I'm going to go downstairs, get set up, and let's open the Bark Box! Yay! Well, hey guys! Today I've got the August Bark Box! Yay! I was told it was supposed to arrive tomorrow, then it arrived today, so hooray! But this time is different from the other times I've opened the box, because normally, um, I looked at Instagram to see what the theme is, because they usually release what the theme is whenever they release the box, but I haven't looked, so I have no clue what this theme is. I knew last month from talking to one of the Bark Box employees, and I knew the month before, you know, because I opened it, but this time I have no clue what this is, and I'm super excited. I know the boys, there's Ridley right there, Emerald's on the floor, Sassy's on the floor over there, are all super excited, so let's get started. I'm going to use a knife to open this, because somebody ate the handles off my scissors. So here we go. I'm so excited, and I just can't hide it. Hi! I know, the boys are super excited. They smell it. Must mean there's some good jazz in there. All right, so. I'm trying to find the card that usually comes with this. We're gonna... Oh, oh my gosh! It's Invasion of Space Squirrels. Guys, this is outer space. Oh, that's awesome. And it also comes with these little glasses. Bark box, get Zeus. Your dog barked at them, chased them, and now you know why. Space squirrels are invading the Earth, and only your dog can save us. Use this bark box to equip your star pup and save the world. And then it says, look at the paper with these K9O vision glasses to decode the epic battle of Star Pup versus Space Squirrel. So let's go ahead and pop this open. This is so cool already. I'm so excited. You guys are going to get space theme. I know, you're really excited right now. There's a message right there that you have to see with these glasses on. So let's see what it says. Hi, guys. Text SPACE to 79987 and read about how the Space Squirrel, the hashtag Space Squirrel, came to invade Earth. That's cool. So I'll put that over there. Uh, moving all this out of the way. Boop. And here is the paper that comes with it. It's a bunch of dogs and space squirrels. And the paper feels different. I'm pretty excited about it. And the dogs are whining. They want me to go. And it talks about BarkBox being at Target now, which is pretty cool. So you can get your favorite BarkBox toys and treats at Target. So let's begin with the first toy. Oh my gosh, it's a Comet. And it feels like MRL's favorite kind of toy. I need to cut the tag off before I can hand it to them. So they're super excited. It's got this cool flame fluffy material and... Oh! Emeril, it's your favorite! Alright buddy, you ready? Ready? Get! What do you think? I know, it's your favorite. He loves the nubby balls covered in fabric. So, I know he's going to be a super happy boy. There he goes. He's so super happy. Yay! <laughs> oh, man, I'm so happy he has that toy. He loves the squeaky nubby balls. Which I've not been able to find squeaky nubby balls outside a bark box. And you're going to hear squeaking now for a while. So, next toy. Whoa! 
It's a flying saucer, flying spinning chew toy. And it smells like bubble gum. That is weird. So it's a frisbee. It's a little chewy frisbee. Ooh, and look at the detail inside. That is nifty. And here's the outside. It smells pretty good. It smells like bubble gum. I don't know why it smells like bubble gum or why dogs would care. But there you go. So let's see if Mr. Riddler would like to give it a try. Riddler, come here. Ready? Go get it. Go get it. What do you think? Not sure about it? Not sure about the smell? Say the squeaky toy is a lot better. They'll get to the saucer, I promise. And now we're going to get to the snacks, which is one of their favorites. Okay, that's a chew, so we're going to go to the snacks. The first one is Astro Bacon. Dog snacks crafted and baked in the USA. A tasty pork recipe that will send your dog zooming to the moon and back. So this should be a fun treat. We're going to have everyone try it. Every dog's favorite sound in the world. I'm going to bring this down to their level so that you can see their reactions. Hi, bud. This actually smells pretty good. It smells a bit like horse food. All right, you ready? Get it. Looks like Riddler likes it. All right, Amarel. Amarel. Come here. Good boy. Sit. Wait. Get it. There you go. Good boy. And it feels like it's soft enough that Sassy could eat it. Because for her, I make sure that the treat is soft for her poor teeth. So let's see. Sassy girl, would you like to try a treat? She's been picky lately, so I don't know if she'll eat it. You want to give it a try? Here, I'll put it right there. He would like it. Sassy says I'm not sure if I like it. So we'll just let you eat. And we'll go to our second bag of treats. Yay! Sorry, you're getting a lot of chest shots. That tends to happen. All right, the second bag of treats is Koha Jerky Bites Wild Game Flavor with pork liver and venison. Now I know you guys like pork and I know you definitely like venison. Healthy tender treats packed with flavor and made with real pork liver and venison. Number one for dog food allergies. That's super important. Fun fact, Riddler is actually highly allergic to beef. So, we have to make sure that he doesn't get any treats with beef in him. So let's rip it open. Whoopsie. That was almost dangerous. I know you're super excited. Hey, buddy. And they're just like tiny cubes. So these are like training treats. That's great. All right, Riddler, are you ready? Come here, Amaral. Oh, you got something in your eye. There we go. That's gone. And then, let's take one to Sassy. Hey, baby. Would you like to try one? Oh, you ate the other one, so do you like that one? I don't know if you like it as much. I'm just going to play around with it for a minute. All right, so the last thing is their chew, which looks pretty interesting. It is... A young crunchy pork and apple chew bar from Etta Says. Oh my gosh, you're excited. Etta is the sassy gal that rules our packaging. Etta's literal translation means ruler of the home. She has certainly earned her name. Etta thinks every ruler in their household deserves the best darn treats on the planet. Uh-oh. That's a problem. It contains rawhide, which Riddler can't have. So we're going to let Emerel taste it. Unfortunately, Riddler, you can't have this because it has rawhide. Because even rawhide makes him sick. So, unfortunately, boy, this isn't for you. So, eh. this is what it looks like. 
give it to Emeril. There you go, bud. Riddler, I'm sorry, I can't give you one. This has rawhide in it, it's gonna make you sick. Here. Uh. Some venison treats. There you go. So that is the August Bird Box. Yay! Hey guys, there's Nancy Girl who gets so excited when I turn the camera on. She starts wagging her tail as soon as it's on, huh, baby? Do you like saying hi to your internet friends? Yeah. And hey, Amarel. The big brother decided he didn't want to sleep upstairs, so I get to have the whole bed to myself with my mommy. That I love very much, huh? Never mind. <laughs> so, I ended up not getting my car cleaned out. But I did finish organizing something else. My bookshelf. Yay! I took all my figures and I cleaned them up. Made them look good and then went to my bookshelf, reorganized all my books. They are alphabetized except for my blank books. And then there's all my just weird and fun stuff. And of course there's my desk. So, yeah. Oh, and I need to show you this picture my brother drew me. Where did it go? There you are. If you guys aren't nerds, you probably won't understand this, but this is what my brother drew me. This is Mob from Mob Psycho 100. This is Makachin from Yuri on Ice. And Voltron from Voltron. So give a thumbs up if you know who either of these characters are. And for now, I am putting them over here until I find a space for them. Um, but I will eventually get my car cleaned out. I just have yet to do it. Um... And Emeril and I have also been working on the homework from the trainer. It's been going pretty decently. My concern, I know he does very well at home with whatever I ask him to do. But out in public, he's like, holy crap, no. So, hopefully by Sunday he will be able to perform the tasks that he needs to and work well with the trainer. So, yay. Uh, so, yeah. Now I'm going to sign off for the night and head off to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Question of the day is... Like, if you're having to clean something, what's your favorite part about cleaning? Mine is reorganizing things. I don't know why, I just love putting things in a new place, being able to open up other spaces. And just... I like things cleared up. So put your answers down below and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Good night, my sweet fluffer butt. And good night, my sassy girl. Sweet dreams. Oh, wait, look, 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 look. She blip. It's so cute. Good night, guys.